All right, guys, so uh, we have made it to Monday, new week. So I hope y'all having a good day. Uh, great start to the week. And uh, I am going to be talking today, again, a little bit about Summer Wells and, uh, you know, just keeping her story out there, uh, keeping the awareness out there of how suspicious uh, her parents look. Uh, well, they're not, they're not her parents anymore, but, um, how suspicious those two look. Uh, so I'm going to explain a little bit about that, throw in some video clips and, uh, you guys drop some comments, let me know what you think. So, but, uh, yeah, we're going to keep covering this until, uh, until there's a resolution, you know, if there's no resolution, we may not cover it as we may not cover it as much, but I do think there will be a resolution. It's going to take a while, um, and it has taken a while. But uh, again, if if in the unfortunate event there is no resolution, uh, I mean we'll cover it. We just won't cover it as much. Uh, but but we'll be covering it quite often, um, even if there's no resolution. So let's see. Uh, so what I want to talk about today is, um, as I think about this case, and we, you know, we got, you know, supposedly Candace had got court coming up. Uh, Candace and Dawn's got another court date out in January. So, um, you know, we got we got that to tend to. Got a, a court date of January to probably tend to. Um, and. So when, when I think about, you know, the boys and what all is going on in this investigation and um, now I know John Pruitt says that, you know, they they bleed over into each other. Um, but I wonder, uh, really, I mean, I, I really feel like it was planned out, like whatever happened to summer, I really feel like it was planned out very well. And uh, more than likely without the boys knowing it. Uh, now, the boys may know some bits and pieces. Uh, but again, if, if, they, if they really knew and could get their parents um, in trouble, if they had enough knowledge to actually get Don and Candace arrested, uh, I think that would have come out by now. And, you know, they would have been arrested. Um, you know, I, I keep referring, you know, I keep thinking back to, you know, Orrin and Orson. Um, they gave investigators, you know, enough, but they didn't give them enough to find the bodies or, or anything like that. You know what I mean? Uh, two years, two years on that one, and they finally was uh, comfortable enough to make an arrest and, uh, you know, uh, get both of them for multiple, multiple charges. Um, and again, I hear uh, people often ask, uh, why talk about the parents so much? What does it do? Um, it, it, is it helping to find Summer? Well, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, YouTubers, I ain't going to find Summer. I'm just going to be blunt, honest with you. YouTubers are not going to find Summer. So for the people out there saying, well, well, how is that going to, you know, how is this YouTuber helping to find Summer? How is this YouTuber helping to find Summer? Police are going to find Summer. If anybody's going to find Summer, it's going to be the police, okay? Um, so just, you know, y'all can stop it with the YouTubers. Uh, the YouTubers, they're the YouTuber, what, what are they doing to help find Summer? It's the police that's going to find Summer, not not no YouTubers. YouTubers, we're here to cover it, give it some awareness, uh, maybe bring out some, uh, some details in the case that the news doesn't really um, bring out, you know. So... I mean, there's a lot of stuff that we've seen and heard on YouTube that the news, they never, they, they wouldn't touch, you know, like, you know, um, Don cussing and carrying on drunk and 
using an N word and um, you know all, all the uh, possible DV situations that that's happened on on YouTube. Don getting pulled over for DUI on YouTube. See a lot of that stuff you ain't gonna get on the news. So that that's why we have YouTube, and that's why YouTubers like to cover it. Um, because you, you get a different side of the investigation. You get a different side of basically the case than what you see on the news. So, but are we going to solve it? More likely not. It's just going to be the police. So, everybody out there hollering, "Well, what are, what are you doing? Are you, you're not you're not helping. You're not doing." The police are the ones that's going to do it. Us YouTubers, they, they don't even worry about us YouTubers other than you know thinking we're just a, full of a bunch of BS. You know what I mean? So they just think we're all trash. That's what that's what that's what a lot of the police think. So I'll just leave it there. Um, and I heard that straight from John Pruitt's mouth. So um, so why do we talk about the parents a lot? Well, maybe because they give us a lot to talk about with, with their, their actions, you know. Um, who acts the way that they do when their child is missing? Nasty, nasty people. And uh, just to give you an example, let me show you. I asked him, do you know what happened to Summer? Um, I don't know how you answer a question like that. I mean, I've had that question asked to me before. I mean, if I asked you that question, how would you answer? And what they think happened to their only daughter. Me and Candace know for a fact that Summer was abducted. We know that, uh, but... Is you, can you share with me why you know for a fact or how you know? Well, the reason that I know is because I know my wife, and I, I, I know what kind of emotions and the heartbreak that she's been going through, and that the way everything happened when she called me. Have police given you any information on that, or any anything pointing to that? Um, no. I mean, come on, come on. That's what I'm talking about, guys. That right there. I mean, the the reporter asked a legit question, and. Um, you know, Don has to come off with a smart-ass answer. Really? See, that's why we talk about the parents so much. Those two video clips right there explain the whole reason why we talk about the parents so much. Because you know for a fact that your daughter was abducted. But... When asked how you know for a fact, because in my opinion, if I said something like that, let me tell you, I would have some people in mind. I'd be dropping some damn names, um, and uh, you know, they, they'd be a reason for me dropping their fucking names. I'll tell you that right now. Sorry for the F word, but uh, but yeah, I mean that that's that's another another instance. Um, I mean, at this point, even the news probably thinks they're suspicious. You know what I mean? And let me stop you before you get to it. The innocent until proven guilty. Y'all can say that shit for another day because this is YouTube. This is not a court of law. Innocent until proven guilty is uh, legal termination for um, the courts, not YouTube. So innocent till proven guilty, y'all can, you know, that's, we're not here trying anybody or anything like that. We're just giving our opinions on YouTube, so. And uh, I got another video clip I'd like to play for you, too. Because this, uh, I'll talk about that a little bit right there. You Wells explained how the theories and speculation about what happened to his daughter are affecting him. That tell me. Be... Uh, and said I uh, had somebody, you know, they deposed him or said they had to end the side scoop of TBI and that uh, they knew that I sold my daughter for drugs. And I oh, flipped out. I flipped out. I, you know, I believed that stuff. Like, it, it, I believed it. And I 
got fucked out. You know, I started drinking and everything else. That's oh, why wow. I took her kids. Who are you? So, um, Don says that allegedly people were pretending pretending to be TBI, uh, even if they wasn't, even if it was TBI, and you know they said that you sold your, they think you sold your daughter for drugs, uh, even if you thought they were or they weren't, they they wasn't. Um, Mr. Uh, Mr. Wells, uh, CPS does not take kids from the home just because you drink. Unless there's, you know, like DV or something else involved that's much worse. Okay. Uh, CPS does not take kids from homes just because you drink. Okay. And uh, last thing I want to talk about is, uh, so, I mean, if, you, if you'd like to talk, I mean, if you'd like to tell us the real reason why them boys are taking Dawn, you know, that, you know, you're more than happy to, uh, to do that, but um, you're more, you and Candace are more than happy to tell YouTube a lot more than what you've said and we'll get into that uh in another video might get into that tomorrow might might uh scratch the surface on what they could have what they could have told us uh but haven't you know we'll talk about that tomorrow uh but again um so why now two two years later why are Don and Candace trying to trying so hard not to look or uh, yeah not to look bad in front of the courts? They're trying real hard to look good right now. You know, Candace got her job. Um, they're 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 pretty much well they were limiting their exposure to YouTube. Uh, Don got on here the other night apparently and was you know spouting off about CPS and. Um, you know, make, making some uh, some some pretty bad statements against CPS, and you know if uh, CPS has the fate in their hands of whether you get your kids back or not, it's not a smart thing to do. Now I know you have First Amendment right to, you know, you know you have your you know freedom of speech and all that stuff. Uh, but uh, again, when it comes to CPS, uh, they too can legally use what you say against you in a court of law, in a court of family law. So, um, I mean, if I were, you know, Don and Candace. Uh, and they were trying to get their kids back from CPS, uh, I wouldn't be making the statements that they've been making against CPS. So, but again, just my opinion, I think Don and Candace will take the coward's way out and they're going to sign away their rights to avoid charges. Uh, that's probably what's coming up in, in January. Uh, I don't know, but, but we'll see. We'll see if... Uh, We'll see if they fight for the kids and do what's right, or um, which I doubt. I mean, they they've had two years to do it, or they're gonna take the coward's way out. But anyway, guys, that's what I got for you today. So uh, again, uh, you know, drop some comments on what you think. I thought about the boys maybe not knowing much. They know a little bit, but not much because Don and Candace. Uh, let's not forget, you know, Don stated he knew four to five months before Summer went missing something was going to happen to her. And they're not stupid when committing crimes. Him and Candace ain't stupid. And uh, they know that the boys were probably listening, the boys were watching, and uh, the boys were probably, you know, uh, could get them in trouble if they knew what they were up to, 
I mean, if, if Candace and Dawn actually done it, you know what I mean? So that they, you know, they knew enough to uh, probably make sure the boys didn't know too much about what was getting ready to happen. You know what I mean? So let, let me know what your thoughts are about that. Uh, again, let me know what your thoughts are about, you know, um, you know, Don, you know, Don getting on here, you know, their, their, their actions. Let me know what you, let me know what your thoughts are about their actions, their statements. Um, you know, what they've said on YouTube, what they've said on the news. Um, you know, and, and you wonder why creators talk about Don and Candace so much. Because they give us stuff to, they, they, I mean, there's, there's no shortage of content Don and Candace don't give us. And again, at the same time, they're making their self look more suspicious. And, you know, they're, they're just giving, giving ammunition to CPS to use against them. Stupid. It's just stupid. It's ludicrous. Um, so let me know what you think, guys. Drop some comments below. Uh, and I'll try to get to as many as I can. And uh, hope to see you guys on tomorrow's video. I think you'll like what I got for you. I'll see y'all then.